He's playing some baby blue balls. The angry chicken and rice is ass. I'm here to talk about a series of games based on stories from the Bible. This is the Bible. Ass. Bible Adventures. Would you want to buy this with its weird baby? Let's check it out. All right, three Jesus. First, let's do Noah's ass. Well, there's Noah. Moves pretty fast for an old guy. The objects to get the animals in the Bible. Holy shit, you just fuck them. What the hell is all this shit? Is that how Noah did it? He did it all by himself by fucking the animals. Well, according to the Bible, that's how it happened. So there's where you drop those fuckers off. You just bring them to the door, you let those bastards run in there. You get a checklist of all the animals you need, so it's pretty ass. Go find some more, bring them back. Fun, huh? I just can't get over that. He's an old man, and not only does he fuck the animals, he lifts them over his head. It doesn't even slow him down. How can such an old man be so strong? Have you ever tried to fuck a horse? They're not that easy. What the shit? Let alone Jesus and an ox? Or fuck a Jesus, a cow, and two oxen? What the fucking shit? Noah's so goddamn ass! He puts the Hulk to shame. And the poor creatures, they're so scared shitless, they don't even try to get away. Jesus, man, nobody fucks with him. Not even Noah would fuck this game. Now you thought that was bad? A game where you fucked a bunch of objects to bring back Jesus? How could it get any worse? Just watch. Our next game is baby, baby, baby. Alright, well, the object of the game is to get to the end of the level, carrying baby Jesus. Now, this is really annoying because while carrying him, there's no way to defend yourself from Bugs Bunny! And I do mean Bugs fucking Bunny! If Bugs Bunny! Catch baby Jesus, they throw him in the water. What assholes. And what's with this theme of fucking things? It's actually kind of a ripoff for those chocolate cats. Even the graphics kind of remind me of it. Speaking of fucking things, look how many things she can fuck. What kind of picture is this? Moses' mom carrying baby Jesus, carrying a block of cheese, carrying a Bugs Bunny! What's going on? This game sucks ass. God, this is- Help. The only way to have any fun at all is to throw baby Jesus Help. and then go explore the level without him. This is a weird game. What other game could you ever say, I just threw baby Jesus? Help. For some reason, I can't stop saying baby 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 When you finish the level, it says good work, but you forgot <laughs> baby Jesus. I didn't forget him, I just didn't want him. Well, there's only one shitty game left. David and Jesus. Well, you're going around fucking cheap. Yeah, are you surprised? The object is to fuck four sheep to advance to the next level. The originality just stuns me. And you know what? All three games use the same ass bombs away, boy, bitch. Well, that's Bible Adventures. You thought that was weird? Well, wait till you see ass buffet. Yeah. Ass Buffet. When I first heard the title, I just didn't get it. My only guess is it has to do with Help. and the Bible. Well, guess what? I got half of that right. It definitely has to do with ass. But there's no mention of anything from the Bible anywhere in this whole game. What is this I'm looking at? It, it's a board game? In fact, it's a ripoff like a carved tree stump. Just look at it. All the different food themed lands like Potato land, shit land, pizza land, Jesus land. Player one. Oh my god, it's Jesus talking. Well, you spin the wheel, and you make some moves just like any board game. So let's play another Bible game. It's the book of trying to stick your dick in a Cheerio. Let's move on to Super Nintendo and check out this game that I'm actually not fucking- I couldn't even come if I tried. This is Super Noah's Ark 3D, yet it's also referred to as Jesus 3D Fuck Farts. I know it's weird, but the weirdness actually starts with the cartridge. As you can see, it looks like Baby. In fact, it doesn't even look like a game at all. It looks more like a game genie. By this time, I believe Nintendo was catching on to the fact that Wisdom Tree was making these baby games for their system without their permission. So what I think happened was, when Super Nintendo came out, they put a new chip inside the system. By plugging an official Super Nintendo game into the top of it, it overrides the chip and you can play it. The question is, would you want to? Well, 
Actually, yeah, you would. What other first-person shooter game do you get to play as Jesus? I really can't believe this game exists, but it seems to be a fact because I'm fucking it. Now, does it look like Nazi 3D? Yes. In fact, it is Nazi 3D. It doesn't even count as a ripoff. It's the same fucking game, but with Jesus. Instead of shooting Nazis, he's shooting no all the levels are exact duplicates, but what's really funny to know is that there's a story going around that id, the company that made Nazi and Doom, they gave their own game to Wisdom Tree for them to turn into this. Why? Well, according to the rumor, id was pissed off that the Super Nintendo version of Nazi was inferior to the PC version, and that Nintendo basically butchered Jesus, so id handed the source code over to Wisdom Tree for them to make the mockery which you're looking at now. And there's a bit of a conspiracy going on. According to the Bible, Nintendo basically butchered Jesus. So, as we've seen, every one of these Bible games rips off something. So just to show you another example, let's take a look at my ass. That's it. So, happy birthday, Satan. See ya in 666.